For the past seven days, I have done everything under the sun to avoid admitting that I did wrong. If you looked up the worst way to handle a situation like this, um, my, my name would be right there. I have not only ducked, dodged, avoided, downplayed, lied, I've done everything but admit that I messed up. You take it all the way back to my initial response, my sorry not sorry response. I'm sorry, so sorry. Sometimes even a cowboy's got to swallow his pride and hold on to somebody he loves. going on goblin brigade thank you guys so much for stopping by the kitchen today as always thank you for clicking on this video if this is your first time here my name is spooky goblin a little bit about me i am 45 years old going through my own personal weight loss journey i also have a professional background in culinary arts from sullivan university been in the food uh industry for the past 25 or so years and on this channel i help you get just a little bit healthier all from the perspective of an actual obese person like myself well i'm almost not obese anymore i'm working on it guys but i also have to mention that i am not a doctor i'm not qualified to talk about anything here i'm just sharing my own personal weight loss story with, with you guys and hopefully you can take something away from that. Hopefully you find some value in my content. So you can do Old Spooky a favor. Extend your hand and friendship to the like button. Give it a big old bro hug. And accept its apology. Because in today's video, in case you've been living under Anabar for the past week and a half. We are going to be going over and reacting to Remington James. I'm sorry, apology that he done this past Saturday. So, guys, if y'all ready, let's hear what old Rim has to say. For the past seven days, I have done everything under the sun to avoid admitting that I did wrong. If you looked up the worst way to handle a situation like this, um, my, my name would be right there. I have not only ducked, dodged, avoided, downplayed, lied. I've done everything but admit that I messed up. You take. Okay, starting off, you can already tell that this is a big difference from his previous uh, apology video that he did like a week ago, I think. The sorry, not sorry one to where he posted Conor McGregor and his famous cuss uh, phrase. I want to apologize to absolutely no fucking, you know, all that jazz. So, already starting out, you can see the passion in this man's voice. And that is a good thing. Take it all the way back to my initial response, my sorry, not sorry response. And even then, I was still just trying to save face and play the victim and not take accountability. These past seven days, I have... Remember that word, accountability. I've been the person that I always told myself I never wanted to be. I let my pride and my ego get in the way of doing the right thing. When all this happened, I was viewing enemies as friends. Everybody looked like an enemy to me. I felt like I had no other choice but to fight, and I could not have been more wrong. There was pe people genuinely cared and uh, wanted me to just do the right thing, and I refused. Man, you can really hear the emotion coming out of his voice. He's looking directly at the camera. And he's just building it all out on the table, guys. I mean, there are always some points in our lives to where we have misstepped, to where we have letting our pride, our ego get into the way. And it's just part of uh, growing as a human, guys. The uh, biggest thing you can take away from this 
is how you come out on the other end and how you actually handle this these types of situation because trust me if you are younger and you're watching my content there are going to be points in your life when you have to deal with stuff like this if not worse so just keep that in mind accountability y'all to see that all people wanted me to do was admit that i messed up give credit and make an actual heartfelt apology but instead i told myself that if people knew my side of the story then maybe they'd get on board and they'd see that i was right and when my side of the story finally came out in the worst way possible on the modcast um i i, I listened to it back and i realized how ridiculous how wrong how cowardly how immature how mean how every this was how everything i've been i literally I was so kind of like really bad for him and what he's going through right now, even though he is the architect of his own downfall. But man, you know, sometimes stuff just happens. Old habits die hard, and we're all out here just trying to make it in the end. They tore down people that did a lot of lifting me up and promoting my channel. I, I let fans down. I let friends down. And it's a, um, it's a terrible feeling. I was given advice by Greg. I was given advice by Josh Iron Musket. And I completely avoided it and instead let my arrogance and my ego and everything dictate the way I was moving. And I understand that there's people that um, will never ever look at me in the same light again, which uh, I'm not, I, I don't need sympathy. I don't need anybody to feel sorry for. For me i felt the need to make this video because after everything went down and a few people reached out to me um ethan harold for one of them and um i yeah see he let his ego get in the way and everybody that was trying to give him good life advice people that have been down this road before he completely let his pride and that ego drown all those people out because he was taking it as a personal attack. I've had to deal with this in my own life here recently. And man, when you got people that actually care about you, they are going to tell you exactly what they think, whether they hurt you feelings or not, because you don't want to surround yourself with a bunch of yes men and people that are just going to be dragging off their coattails because you don't know when you are messed up you don't know you know you don't have anybody giving you solid advice so you can grow and become a better person so let's keep that in the back of your head when you're out out there building your circle of friends and making those connections you got to know who surrounds you you got to know what their intentions are and you have to be aware at all times who's in your circle. I just realized what a massive mistake, douchebag, I had really been. If there's one thing I really need to work on with myself is that I take constructive criticism so poorly. Someone can give me a little piece of advice and I treat it like they insulted me and my first instinct is to lash out and block and just remove it from my life instead of actually listening to what people have to say. And, then and that is a very important point. You have to be able to open yourself up, take it as advice that people are giving you, and you can't take everything as a personal attack, especially when there's people that are older than you, have more life experience than you, maybe has been through some of the same things that you're going through. You have to be able to absorb that knowledge and put it to use. So yeah, man, this is a very good video. We all love Remington, but at least the majority of us do. And we can never knock the grind. We have to respect what he has built. Even though he may have fucked up. But hey man. At least he is man enough to admit what he has done. And he's trying to make amends. That brigade is true magic. Until next time. Never forget where you come from. And never sacrifice your integrity. Just to make a few extra dollars. And by the way, guys, action speaks louder than words. So we will see where this goes. Later, y'all.